simp alert on this segment of It's Scary to Be Mary. What's up, Brave Arts community? This is Sean Heineman here with another segment of It's Scary to Be Mary wanting you to love fearlessly. That's right, I entitled this one Simp Alert, and I'm going to explain why. I realized that this word is like a buzzword. It's almost how we say the word toxic. Everything is just toxic, right? Now everything, everyone is a simp. You have guys on Clubhouse, across social media platforms. You a simp, you a simp, you know, you a simp, they're a simp. Everybody's a simp. All this this craziness, right? Because somebody's excited to use a, a, a word that's uh, demeaning to other black men because they might have found someone uh, a special young lady in their life and you know they're living their life and you're mad because they found somebody that they like that they're attracted to that they're happy with and you haven't found anyone yet so now they are a simp so anyway before i get ahead of myself let's give this that let's give this a definition because where else would a better a better place to be than urban dictionary Urban Dictionary defines a simp as a man who puts the hoes before the bros. Now, as I read this, I'm thinking, is this for 10th graders? Is this like for 15 year olds? I don't I don't get it. You're 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 putting hoes before the bros like you're mad because I'm not going to come over and play video games with you because I have a date. I don't I don't get it. I'm thinking, aren't we grown? Uh, so yeah, so that's what basically they define a simp as. Now, the reason I did this video was because in one of my, probably my most popular video is why second marriages fail. And I get a lot of comments. So, uh, there was a guy who left a comment that said, and I give you this word for word. He says, I'm not going to say his name. He says, uh, oh. You married a chick you met off of Instagram after only six months. Simp alert. <laughs> That's what he said in the comment section. Now, usually I, I wouldn't give people the time of day, but I'm so tired of people calling other people this name just because uh, a man is happy with himself. And uh, we just got to do better in the, in the black community, I believe, because this is causing serious division. Because the minute a, a, a man doesn't agree with you, or if he's giving a woman her flowers, he's ha he has to be a simp. Or if he's just giving some real game, I'm not talking about like that other guy game who you're talking about. I'm not talking about pandering like that. But just more of if you speaking up for women, especially black women, guys are, oh, you are a simp. You are a simp. And this stuff is destroying our community. So we have to uh, help these guys out. Um, and I think I found a way, but I will say I'm looking at this from the perspective of the guy who, who are, who are calling other men simps. And I'm thinking, man, maybe he just didn't get a hug from his mom. Maybe mama just didn't hug him enough or, or, or told her or told him that, you know, she loved him or she's proud of him and his, his accomplishments. Cause when you call them people simps, like your your trauma is showing you, you you're all over the place. The, you know, don't don't let your your trauma show. It's it's not attractive at all, and it's not gonna help you find a woman either. Maybe you need to get out the house and put down the video game. Maybe you need to get out and be a little social. You know, I know we kind of like you know in this thing with COVID and stuff like that, but things are changing, things are opening. So why don't you get out the house and be social? Why don't you go out and speak to somebody? Go and smile. Everybody don't hate you, right? Look, we've all been hurt. I'm speaking as a man. There's a lot of men that's been hurt, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to, uh, you know, tear down another man just because he's happy. It's like, let that man be happy. You know, process your pain, process your trauma. I understand that she said no to you when y'all were in high school and you wanted to take her to prom and she said no. I get it. I get it. The high school quarterback smashed a girl that you liked. <laughs> I get it. You know, all these different little things that might have happened to you in your life. You know, the, the girl who rejected you after you bought her lunch. I get it. We've all been hurt before, man. 
But that don't mean you got to hate on other brothers. You need to get some healing, man. It's going to all work out for you if you learn to appreciate other people and get over your trauma, you know? When was the last time that a woman, you know, was proud to say that that you were you were hers, you know? When was the last time? Like you got to get it together, man. You got to get it together. When was the last time a woman gave you some good loving? when was the last time you gave her a, a good orgasm? You know, man, look, there's so many different women out here that would love you if you just got yourself together and you prioritize yourself and process your pain, man. I get it. Like I said before, we've all been hurt, but you don't have to call somebody else a simp just because they found somebody that they're in love with and they left you by yourself. So, all I'm saying is, if you need some help, direct message me. Uh, leave a comment below in the comment section. I would love to hear from you because these guys are hurting all over the place and they leading a whole community of men that's hurting and they're trying to hate on the guys who are actually happy with the woman that they have. So we got to try to help these guys. Let's not throw them all away. They just need to know how to process their pain. Leave me an email, leave a, a, a comment below, and I'll talk to you. Let's work through this pain together. I'm here for you. I ain't here to hate on you. I'm trying to help you get to the next level because when you find an amazing woman, she will change your life. And I'm here to help people change their lives because that's what we do at the Brave Hearts community. We, we change lives. We love fearlessly, right? Anyway, let me get off my soapbox. This is Sean Heineman here at It's Scary to Remarry, wanting you to love fearlessly. Make sure you leave a comment below. Maybe you are a hurt man. Maybe you are the mad rapper. <laughs> you know, leave a comment below. If you if you're not watching this on YouTube, make sure uh, that you listen to this on Apple Podcasts as well. Leave a rating and review. If it's a one star review, if you think I'm a simp, leave a one star and review and explain to me why I'm a simp. Uh, after marrying. A woman after six months who I'm happy with. I mean, I got to be a simp because of that. I ain't going to say your name, though. It's all good. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Share this with a friend. And, you know, maybe they're a simp. Give this video to them so, you know, it can help them out. So we can help transform some hearts and turn them into brave hearts. This is Sean Heineman at It's Scary to Mary. Wanting you to love fearlessly. Take care, people.